Uh, welcome back to our channel here. Uh, today we are excited to show off this new piece of gear and to kind of update you on some of the stuff that we've been doing over the last few months here. I know it's been a while since we've done a video, but let's hop into this. Uh, we're going to start off. This is our new unit for the year. It is the Heritage Baby Ram. I got it from our friends at Sweetwater. Um, it's a really robust unit, um, all metal, kind of that vintage Neve look. Uh, I don't know what they call that, blue gray. I, I'm not entirely sure what the color is called, but um, I am so far digging this big knob that's on the front here, and it's detented, which is awesome. I don't have to worry about bu bumping stuff and making things louder when they don't need to be. Um, the buttons feel really nice. Um, kind of hear them click here. They all click like, sounds like they got good springs in them. But um, the nice thing is it's got a mute button down here. It's got a dim button to make things so I don't have to constantly be doing this. Um, and then it's got a mono button if I want to check things in mono. Um, and then on the back, it's got all these, this little button here. So you can see it's a little tiny button, little tiny button. But the little tiny button here does balanced and unbalanced cable. Um, the only thing I will recommend that if you buy this unit or get this unit, that you should consider, um, if you don't already run quarter inch to your speakers, um, getting some kind of adapter or um, building cable, if you're into that, uh, to basically go to your speakers because there's no XLR mic type plug. It's all quarter inch, as you can see. There's, four, there's eight quarter inch plugs, um, two for the input and two for the outputs um, because it does do two outputs and two inputs. So you can do like, your number one can be your DAW, and then maybe number two could be like maybe your phone or your computer or somebody else's laptop, or maybe you have two computers. I don't know what your setup's like, but then it's got two outputs. So if you have two sets of speakers like I do, you can set one to be your main one and then two to be like your real world, you know, home theater speaker type setup. Um, I am digging the button though, this big knob. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be in the picture, but I'm still digging it. It, it spins real nice, clicks, um, does look vintage Neve-like. They do make um, vintage preamps that are Neve-style preamps. I don't know if they're exactly Neve, but they're, I hear they're pretty close. Um, they do make a bigger version of this bad boy that I think might have some XLR inputs and outputs on it. Um, that's called the Ram, I think, or the Ram 5000. Um, it's on their website, um, and it's also on Sweetwater's website. Um, but we have gotten this to replace something that used to sit here. Um, we used to have a console that sat here and it's still kind of, you know, in the back of our minds of maybe, maybe setting up, setting that up or selling it or doing something with it. We're not entirely sure, but this particular unit will replace, um, the functions that that console had on the master section where I could have multiple outputs and multiple inputs and select between the two. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the new thing that, that's not here anymore is there's no console and it's all in the box in our Studio One software um, on the computer that we've rebuilt. And we'll probably eventually do maybe a review of the computer or a review of, uh, you know, Studio One and how it's working for us. But uh, at this point in time, we're just going to work on this guy and how it hooks up. Um, but we have a lot of work to do because all of our other jacks were not quarter inch they were all xlr so it's gonna be a fun day hooking this up uh you know thanks for watching we've got more videos to come more videos that uh will probably be on this guy and how it works for us we've got some other videos on like i said maybe the computer and studio one um and then maybe if we get enough kind of people want and maybe do a studio tour we've got some more amps and stuff that kind of sit off to the side here that i'm going to do a review on but, you know, just kind of watch out. We'll do these when we can and if we can. It doesn't only really have time. Uh, we've had lots of sessions and lots of videos to work on for other people. And uh, so keep us in mind uh, for all your music needs. This is uh, Fox and Robin recording. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. See you next time.